Hello everybody, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything, solar installation, everything, inverter installation, everything going green. Hope everybody is cool today. That's great. And hey guys, Felicity has a new design for their charge controller. And the same thing goes for their other brands like their lithium battery and of course their inverter as well. So they have a new design for mostly all of their products. And here is a charge controller and it has a new design. And the charge controller is going to be the focus for today. Is it just a new design or is it something new? Because each time there's a new design, it's expected for it to have a new upgrade, some kind of update from what it used to be before. So we're going to find out. Or is it just designed for it to look beautiful without any updates? Or is there really an update? So let's look at the product and see what it looks like on the inside. Let's open it up. All right. So that's what it looks like. That's how it's on the inside. Okay. Okay, so that's what the new products looks like. Okay, there's a new design. So it's a clear departure from how it used to look. So this is what the new design looks like. So we're trying to find out if there's a new upgrade or it's just a design. And does it really look more beautiful than what it used to be? You know, basically when something is brand new, people always say it looks more beautiful because it's a new design, something different from what it used to be like. But I need you guys to look at it very critically, all right? And tell me what you feel. Do you think this is better than what it used to be? Or do you think the old design still stands out a lot better than this new design? So what do you think? Are you for or against the new design for the Felicity Charge controller? So whatever you think, leave it on the comment section and let me know. Let's see the number that is going to be in support of the new design. If it's better than what it used to be before or some who are going to say, no, I prefer the old design. <laughs> hey, if you haven't subscribed, now will be a good time for you to subscribe. All right because <laughs> that's how you support us and we appreciate it a whole lot. Don't forget, the more you subscribe, the more we can reach out to more people who also need to see this information on the solar technology, all right? You're welcome. All right, so the first thing that jumps at you at this product is what you can hold, the hardware, okay? So uh, the old one used to be metal, but this is plastic. I don't know if this is about saving cost or if the plastic is really better than what it used to be. So the old one comes with a cream and black color with an orange trimming by the sides, okay? But this is clearly all white. So that's the first thing that jumps at you. So now it's a white color and the body is plastic, but the old one is metal, but this is plastic. So that's the first major difference you're gonna see between this charge controller and the old one. And sadly, they removed one of the things I loved a whole lot about the old charge controller, which is the cable log. I love cable log because it helps me when it comes to uh, using different cable sizes and not having to struggle to squeeze it into the screw box hole. But right now, it's back to the screw box hole. Wow. But it's really something cool that they did in this design. In the old one, you definitely have to remove this front cover before you can connect um, your wires, that's your uh, solar panel terminal wires, negative and positive, and the battery terminals, positive and negative as well. You'll definitely have to remove this cover. There's a black metal cover in front that you have to remove completely before you can put that. But that in itself is going to make your installation slow down. But right now, all you need to do is just put your wires in here and you tighten the screws on this screw box hole and that's very cool because it's very time saving so all you need to do is just squeeze in your wires and tighten the screws it has a star screw and you're good to go it's pretty faster than what it used to be so that's one of the very cool things i like about this in as much as i feel very bad that it took out my cable lock this is not really so bad because this takes as much as 25 mm diameter cables and it's really very cool but in the back it still has the big heat sink is still air cooling, all right? It still doesn't use a fan to cool the system. So they've maintained the air cooling, which is very cool. There's really no noise, so it's absolutely very silent. So now the interface, that's the screen. The screen remains the same size. The screen is the same size with the old one. There's really no change between this new one and the old one because the screen size is the same thing. But the difference is that in the illumination on the LCD screen display, it's white. 
so you have a white lcd display as opposed to the other one which is a fluorescent green color so the other one was a fluorescent green color but this lcd display is white in color so that's one difference between this guy and the old charge controller that they used to have before they had this new design so another difference is that you no longer have the manual button that you used to press that is very hard that you press and you hear that sound back 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 but now what you have is a sensitive touch button here so all you need to do is to place your fingers here and it senses your finger and it begins to operate the settings on the charge controller all right so that's super cool so you don't have to press and press and press anymore until your fingers <laughs> numb or become painful so just place your finger here there's a sensor here that senses your uh, finger and it begins to operate the settings that you have on the interface and i think that's super cool right what you guys think that's very cool <laughs> all right but sadly i thought they were going to do something about the one button that you have on the felicity charge controller you just have one button to control everything and sometimes it can be very frustrating and i'll tell you guys one very good example and one practical example is if you want to set your absorption to go for two hours that's essentially 120 minutes and you go past 120 minutes by five minutes you're definitely going to press all the way to a thousand minutes before you can revert back to five minutes 10 minutes and all the way till you get to 120 minutes you must not miss it if you miss it because it's just one button you can't go back it's supposed to have a plus and minus button so when you go forward or you miss a little bit of the number that you want to impute on your settings you can always go back with the minus buttons but it just has one button and this was what i was hoping that was going to uh, be inculcating two buttons into the settings of the charge controller so when you go past your settings you can always go back without stress but this is very frustrating because you have to click and click and click and click and it's totally unnecessary before you can come all the way back okay so that's one thing that didn't happen in this new design yet a difference between this and the old one is the provision of a mode bus so you have a mode bus here that you can use to connect and monitor the charge controller remotely you can use your cell phone and you can also use your computer to be able to monitor what's going on in your system so you don't have to stand in front of it and wait for it to hit those very big wattages and big amperages all right which can be very frustrating right now you can be anywhere a little bit uh, remote from this charge controller and you can tell what's going on in your charge controller and i think that's super cool what do you guys think <laughs> let's give them an accolade for this so i like this and it's really very cool and they also have in this charge controller which is not in the other one what you call a pv voltage disconnect all right, so you already know that every charge controller has a minimum threshold for a PV voltage input and of course a maximum threshold as well. So when you exceed the maximum threshold for the voltage that is supposed to come from the PV to this charge controller, which is 195 volts. So this charge controller will definitely disconnect the PV from the charge controller, unlike what it used to be. But if it were to be in the old one, once you exceed the threshold for the maximum PV voltage is going to damage the system. But right now as it is, this will just disconnect the PV voltage and prevent it from damaging the charge controller. And I think that's a very good initiative coming from the manufacturers of this product for the Felicity charge controller. So the efficiency rate right now in the energy conversion is 98% and I think that's really very cool. So if you can get 98% efficiency of energy conversion rate out of this guy, I think it's really a very good upgrade from what it used to be. So that's the difference between this and the old one. And if you guys stick around too, you will get to learn about this beautiful product I've been using for a while now. Okay, so these are the combiner or the enclosure boxes. It's called Max GE. This is really very cool. That's what I've been using. So here is the Max GE. It's very, very cool, very, very stylish, different from every other thing you have. Um, it's a very cool um, plastic enclosure or combiner boxes for your circuit breaker. So I think it's something you guys need to check out. Um, this really makes your job look very, very premium, very elitist and you need to just check it out. I've been using it for a while now. Most of my products, most of my installations, that's what I use. And they also have these very fantastic um, circuit breakers. They have the DC and they also have the AC circuit breakers and they have it at all amperage of the Max G. That's what I use for all my uh, installations. It really does the job. It protects your appliances. So once you have an unwanted surge, really there's no surge that is wanted, right? <laughs> so once you have any form of surge, 
all right that could potentially damage your components or your appliances this would definitely trip off and the advertised rate that you have on the inside the ad advertised amperages are really the content amperage i can guarantee that for you guys it's really very very cool that's what i use now so you guys should check it out you can give a call to the number on the screen and get to use this because it's very important because one of the things that gives you peace of mind is that after your installation nobody calls you to say something is really bad the next time your client calls you it's to refer you to someone else and this has to do with the quality products that you use right all right everybody that's very much we can do today thank you so very much for joining us we appreciate it so very much if you haven't subscribed come on now what are you waiting for now would be a great time and that's how you support us to go ahead and to get you more and more stuff that surrounds the solar technology all right and i know you all need this information and of course the more you subscribe the more we can reach out to more people who also need this information just like you have the information thank you so very much guys and see you in the next video